Hello people, how are you doing? Hope you're well. My topic for today will be pride, so enjoy this video. Hello people, how are you doing? Hope you're well. Hope you had a good time. And my topic for today is pride. I'll define for you what pride is and I'll take a bit of the history of pride, the root causes of pride and the opposite of pride, how to be humble. Yeah. And it goes like this, the, uh, pride is defined as inordinate self-esteem, uh, it also means self-respect, uh, it also means delight or elation arising from some act, possession or relationship, for example, uh, relationship between mom and and child or father and child amongst other relations uh, it also means uh, proud or disdainful behavior or treatment uh, it also means a company of lions and the synonym of the synonyms of pride is self-esteem, self-regard, ego, yeah, and the ori pride is one of the seven deadly sins mentioned in the Bible and it originated when uh, Satan uh, fell from heaven after he sinned against God in heaven and Satan was very proud of his, of his good looks and he, this, this, uh, this, uh, uh, e uh, this ego of, 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 good, of, of, of good looks made Satan to fall into sin. He started wanting to be like God and so Satan as a result of looking at his beauty, fell into the sin of pride, and the sin of pride made him, made Satan to fall, and he was originally called Lucifer. Uh, as a result of his fall, he now became Satan, and he fell with a third of the angels, which are now called demons. Yeah, so pride is one of the oldest sins as recorded in the Bible and uh, I'll take you through the root causes of pride yes the root causes of pride and one of one of them is trying to fix everything you cannot and should not try to fix a mess yourself you cannot handle everything you can handle some things but you cannot handle everything because we are not God. Yes, God gives, gives us abilities that we are good at and gives us certain abilities so that we can glorify Him with our abilities. So we cannot be good at everything. No. Number two, is fear of humility. Pride will stop us from allowing people to help us because we feel we should be able to do it all on our own. So uh, pride makes us feel that we can do things all by ourselves. We don't need people in our lives. We can handle things ourselves but the truth is we can't 
We can't handle things ourselves. We can't handle life on our own. Because sometimes life is hard and we need people in our lives to help us, to compliment us, to to aid us when we need them. So God created, God knew that it is not good for man to be alone. So it is not good for us to be alone because we need people in our lives. And God knows that, that we are weak. We can't handle life on our own. Number three is fear of vulnerability. We can often be slow to get help or be our true selves because we don't want people to see our weakness. So once we are proud, pride is a way of, of hiding our weakness and we feel proud because we don't want people to think that that we are weak, that we can fall anytime. So pride is is not good. Pride we don't learn. We don't accept that we are that we make mistakes and that we we fall just as any other any other person. So pride makes us feel uh, that we are not vulnerable. And finally number four is low self-esteem. Pride and arrogance are masks that we wear to hide our struggle with self-hate, shame, unworthiness, guilt, and inadequacy. So once we are pride, we are aware of pride, we try, we try to hide ourselves because of shame, because of self pity, self hate. Yes, pride is the source of shame. It's not the antidote of shame; it's the source of sh uh, of, of shame. And uh, we are weak. We all have weaknesses. We cannot be good at everything. Yes. And the opposite of pride is humility. And I will take you through the ways in which you can develop humility. And one of them is spend time listening to others. The Bible tells us that we should be swift to listen, we should be slow to speak, and slow to wrath. So, once we listen to others, we are able to learn more from the opinions of others more than trying to fix things on our own. Number two is practice mindfulness and focus on the present. So, we should be mindful of others more than ourselves and we should focus on the present situation taking place. We should not focus on the past. Number three is ask for help when you need it. Because we can't be good at everything. It will reach a point where where we'll need people, where you'll be you'll always have trouble and you'll need people's assistance. So should lower pride and ask for help, accept our, our weakness, yes, and number four is be grateful for what you have. Once you're grateful for what you have and you won't, you won't have pride, you'll just have contentment uh, because uh, pride makes us uh, want to have more than what you have but humility makes us to appreciate what you have the abilities you have uh, what uh, things that God has given each one of us yes number five is learn to love yourself uh, if you learn to love yourself 
uh, you will be able to to do away with pride because uh, God, the Bible tells us that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. He has written in the book of Psalms, chapter one thirty nine. So if you are if you love yourself, you won't have the feelings of pride uh, because you realize that people who are proud they struggle loving themselves. And finally, number six is accept the blood of Jesus. Jesus Christ is our example of how we should be humble. By washing the disciples' feet, Jesus was demonstrating that a leader is a servant. And so the blood of Jesus Christ will be able to dispel the spirit of pride from your heart. Yeah. So that is all that I have for for this video. If you're struggling with pride and you are wondering how can I get rid of pride? This is the antidote that I have given you. If you are asking yourself uh, if you are like asking yourself how can I how can I be humble? How can I avoid pride? This is the antidote that I have given you. And hope you've learned something about pride. Hope you've blessed. Hope that you've reflected on this of this theme of pride. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for your cooperation and bye everybody.